in 2011 there is an earthquake and this structure was damaged slightly that door there you see is the entrance to the king's palace in paro it is like private tour of bhutan for me Thank you. Sure. <laughs> I think I'm too old for that now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for everything. We want to move ahead uh, once we reach to the welcome gate. So just we can go till uh, there's uh, one bridge, no? Huh. No, I come behind only. I normally go by same speed limit I'm following. I don't want to break any rules. <laughs> so it's bye bye to Thimpu. So that's our hotel. <laughs> there's lemon tree. There's TC restaurant. Everyone has only one question. Don't you feel suffocated inside this? <laughs> like safety first. Look at these overlanding vehicles. We don't have much to ride today. It's about uh, approximately 50 kilometers, I guess, to Paro from Thimpu. So that would be close to two hours of riding. Okay, 50 kilometers per hour. In few mountain passes, it is 40. This is Timpo River. We are riding right beside it. All the lovely land cruisers of Bhutan. Find hardly few bikers, but all of them are customized. So Paro is 45 kilometers. The airport is 41 kilometers. <coughs> Tashi Delek Just passing by one hill and it has rained here It has rained quite a bit See, The weather is very unpredictable here has started drizzling slowly at the travelers restaurant had lunch and as i said earlier most restaurants serve alcohol so next we are headed to the room go to the room change his outfit and then yeah one side six Museum. Yes, we'll go to the museum and come. On the way to Paro, I didn't record anything because it started raining. I put the camera in the car and it stopped raining. Yes, this here is my room in Paro. And it's on the first floor, it has a balcony with a view. There's a river flowing right in front. See that? I don't know if the balcony is accessible, let's see. Looks like a pretty low. Oh, yes.
Mm-hmm. He's in Bethany, what? That room has got to be gone. It is a little away from the town, but it's okay, it's nice. Let's quickly change. For those who want to stay close by to town, be accessible to the streets there. This is not total to look into. This is called the hotel. What is it? Hotel Gawling. G A W A L I N G. Yes. Back in the car. Mm-hmm. For the next uh, 24 hours? Yeah. Yeah, more than 24 hours. Until tomorrow, no bike. No bike. Bike is parked here at uh, Hotel Gawling. Huh? Day after morning. Day after tomorrow morning. Day after tomorrow morning, we will remove the bike and straight will go to Punchin. Yeah. Until that, no bike. <laughs> <coughs> because there's no place to ride here. Yeah. We'll just go to the museum, do some rounds and come back. Tomorrow we'll go. Tiger's Nest. Tiger's Hike. There's a river here. There's a lot of work happening. Mm. I think this is the only place we found bad road. This one? Yeah. <laughs> so they're playing archery. <laughs> <coughs> Where is their aim? So it's like a 135 meter. Long. 135 meter long, yeah. huh? <coughs> Usually they make a team. And sometimes like uh, right now they are playing with themselves for practice. Okay. So Finally we saw some archery also. Mm. So they will have a two team. Okay. And uh, like uh, game point is a 25. Okay. Whoever hit the target, they will get two points. And okay. if you hit in a bull eye, you will get three points. Oh, only and one point extra. Yeah. And I thought bull eye will be five points. If you hit one uh, target, and if I hit target with a bull eye, then I will get only one point. Oh. This here is the National Museum of Bhutan. The entrance and the ticket counter, as always. How much? Three hundred. 300 for museum entrance. So we are not allowed to take a camera and cell phone inside the museum. We have a locker okay. there. Oh. Then you can leave it in the car only. Right? Outside, from outside, you can take a picture. Oh, okay. yeah. well, you will get a good view of our town also. You know, Indian currency, everything is mixed up. I'm searching which is what. <laughs> So, no video, no photography allowed inside the museum, right? Yes. <coughs> Outside, it is allowed as, wow, a nice rose garden yeah, here. Varieties of... Uh, see that? Pink, red, white. Varieties of pink, actually. Since it's full off-season, it is like a private tour of Bhutan for me. <laughs> no one near. <clears throat> there are a few cars outside. <clears throat> there will be people inside. Maybe they are inside. Yeah. Fully surrounded by paddy fields and in between there is one road with all the structures. Nice. And our hotel is over there. Ah. Oh, that big building, no? Yes, yes. Behind the street? Yes, behind the street. Gawali. Okay. And tomorrow we have to go to the northern part of the... Paro. Paro, yes. There, tiger nest. It's just behind this bridge. Behind this? Yeah. Behind this is tiger nest. Waiting for that. That is the highlight of Bhutan trip. Yeah. This is also nice. Not that it's not nice, not it's beautiful. But that is the icing on the cake. Airport. Okay. Got in from the top, exited at this gate, six floors. <coughs> there are so many artifacts inside. It took what one hour? When did we enter this here? I didn't see the time. I didn't see. I didn't see. It's uh, 4 7, 16 7. 
and this is the view okay there is an aircraft taking off yeah true care is taking off so that is uh, parozong yes that is parozong down there and you can see uh, the king's palace in paro you can't even see it's actually there is no building there right? it's only ground floor that is the one there you can see one compound there and paro city the view is killer you won't get this view when you come in winter the clouds make the sky beautiful when you come in winter it'll all be blue you won't find clouds see that paddy fields just after you cross the airport you find paddy fields and then paro town festival ground okay this is a festival ground we are at a high altitude and this is in super zoom i mean sorry super wide so showing you distant things is not easy at the copro the forts are all the same just the structure outside is different currently everything is being used in two pieces one is for the monastery the other for administration offices so in chedar monastery pretty much all the temples are the same same deities same uh, rituals processes so i won't be going inside that take a look from outside okay in 2011 there is an earthquake and this structure was damaged slightly so they had moved all the artifacts into this building here and the museum was open for public in this building until recently when they moved everything back here so we just went into the old building with all the renovation so that much for museum visit yeah. is this the only museum in bhutan uh no, we have uh, other museum so like okay. a heritage museum in timbu but small one the bigger okay. one is this is okay this is the bigger one and second biggest is there in the center part we have another museum tazo okay what is there in central and eastern bhutan where tourists can go and see so more able like if tourists are interested to visit in the eastern or the like a central part so you will enjoy the natural beauty of bhutan the landscape landscape will be similar but it's still then like it's not developed like a western side paro or okay. kulaka or timbu so it's more authentic so this is the difference between the eastern and the central are part. tourists allowed to go there yeah okay so no restrictions there. no restrictions or is there any restricted place where you cannot go so that is uh, we uh, for the restriction we don't have any anything else so like every where you can visit like a fort monastery or the like other site just for the like our king palace we are not also not allowed okay so you can come to bhutan you can go all across bhutan yeah, yeah you can but visit. only one entry currently that is konsling entry not one so from the samrizonga eastern uh, ah, south that is not open now no not open yes yeah there is one more but not open now that door there you see is the entrance to the king's palace in paro a market this is fruit and vegetable market if i go inside they will see me why this guy is here they are going to the charging station ev charging station the time is just about 5 o'clock Uh, today's rounds are over so we're doing extra rounding yeah timbu timbu ah we reached there is a new charging station here ek hai paro ke liye theek hai hum idhar hi baithega aap charge kar ke aa jaiye we have malls also here now in paro There is a Swiss cafe. I know where I'm going. I'm just going for a walk. Find something interesting, some souvenir shop. We'll get in cafe. We'll try. We get everything here. 
from Sunyas to canteen items, your stationeries. See one more Sunya shop. just not finding what I want. I don't think that's available. I think I need to order that online and get it. I just want a sticker of Bhutan flag for my pannier. To just showcase that one country done with the motorcycle. The restaurant, souvenir, flags, clothes, name it to get it. So all vegetables, fruits, dry fish. the main market apples here fruits so done with visit to paro town I miss 7, 10, 19, 10. I am at my hotel, Hotel Galling. We have this river right in front. They've put concrete, so I can't go down. The water is going to be cold. Was cement abhi abhi lagaya na? Hmm. Ah, niche to uske log. Aage koi jagah tha. Kal dekhenge. So yes, I think I'll finish the vlog here. Thank you for watching this one. Until the next one, take care and stay safe.